Let's look at OpenStax College Physics Chapter 15, Problem 22. What is the work output of a cyclical heat engine having a 22% efficiency and 6 times 10 to the 9th joules of heat transferred into the engine? And B, how much heat transfer occurs to the environment? So let's organize our knowns and unknowns. We know that the efficiency of this engine is 22%. And we know that um, heat, QH, is 6 times 10 to the 9th joules. Um, we are looking for, in part A, for the work output. So we want work. And in part B, we're looking for the heat transfer that occurs to the environment. So that is actually Q sub C. So as a diagram, I guess, if we have an engine here, um, we input heat from a hot reservoir and the engine will do some work. And then we know that some of the, the heat that comes from the hot reservoir will go into a cold reservoir. So that is the heat that is transferred to the environment. All right, so in part A, I'm looking for the work. So the efficiency is the amount of work that the engine will do divided by the total heat that was put into it. So that would be work divided by QH. And that means that work is equal to um, efficiency times QH. And that is 0.22 times QH, which is 6.00 times 10 to the 9th. And when we multiply these, we end up with 1.32 times 10 to the 9th joules. Now in part B, we have to look at the conservation of energy. So the amount of heat from the hot reservoir is going to be converted into work plus this heat that is going to be transferred to the environment. So in this part, we're looking for this Q sub C. So that's QH minus W. QH was 6.00 times 10 to the 9th joules minus 1.32 times 10 to the 9th. And when we subtract the two, we end up with 4.68 times 10 to the 9th joules. So the engine got this much energy that it converted partly into work and partly into this exhaust, into the heat that was uh, transferred to the environment.